At exactly 6 a.m. Thursday, tickets went on sale for the 2015 St. Jude Dream Home Giveaway. Thank you for calling the St. Jude Dream Home Giveaway. How many tickets would you like to purchase? Last year's Dream Home Giveaway set a record, selling out in less than two hours. So this year, we added 3,000 more tickets, the most any television station has attempted to sell. We have 18,000 tickets to sell. Uh, that'll raise $1.8 million for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And man, it, it is such a great facility, and we want to make sure that you are part of it. So start calling now. Go to fox8.com. We have 14,000 tickets available on the web, and the rest are going to go through these phone lines here. Perfect. Within minutes, the number of tickets sold was in the thousands. We have sold over 16,800 tickets, which means there are less than 1,200 tickets left. The web is sold out. So we have less than 226 tickets available. We're sold out, folks. We're officially sold out. 18,000 tickets have been sold in an hour and 32 minutes. That's about 200 a minute. By purchasing a ticket for the Dream Home, not only are you entered in the drawing for that $500,000 home in the Red Tail Golf Course community in Avon, you could also win a new car from Nick Abraham Auto Mall and a $10,000 hot tub from Lighthouse Pools and Spas. So excited. I, I could have not asked for a better morning. I'm, I'm thrilled, I'm shocked, impressed, at a loss for words, honestly. Our viewers are some of the most giving and supportive in all of America. There's no community in the entire nation that would buy 18,000 tickets in an hour and a half. Amazing. And we have two words to say to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Todd Meany, Fox 8 News. Move that bus! Move that bus! One by one and bus by bus. The 9th annual Fox 8 Stuff the Bus charitable campaign rolled on Thursday from 6.30 a.m. until 7 o'clock at night. We really appreciate it. With Fox 8 personalities collecting stacks of school supplies for children in need. And the demand is great. Cleveland has the second highest childhood poverty in this country, and second only to Detroit. But the donations assist children all across the county, distributed to teachers through the nonprofit Kids in Need Resource Center. And as we are able to get additional product, then we can reach out and help additional schools. All of it possible because of our sponsors, Hudak oh. Dental and Great Clips Hair Salons. A special thanks, too, to the many volunteers. From those who came to entertain the crowd to others unloading the donations. But the real stars were you, our generous viewers. We have uh, friends. People who did whatever it takes to get here. Actually, I missed the bus. I walked down. To have brand new stuff on the first day of school is very important, and that's why we're here. It's really unbelievable when you think about it, but the first stuff the bus helped about 25 schools, and now we're up to 255 schools. All of those children in need, about 100,000 students. And it all started with an idea and an email. It's surreal. You step back and you go, wow, we did this. We sure did, Northeast Ohio. Nine years, nine buses, and unlimited love. And uh, we're going to keep coming. Oh, this is great. This is awesome. Thank you so much. In Cleveland, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News. Was the day before Thanksgiving and all through Fox 8. Dashing through the snow. Choirs were singing. The excitement was great. Here we go. There we go. I come every year and then uh, I save my change and then I cash the change in and buy the toys and bring them down. The gifts were brought by viewers with care. <laughs> Thank you so much. In hopes that Dick Goddard would soon be there. It's just something great to do for children that may not have a very Merry Christmas. It's Fox 8's ninth annual Operation Giving Tree. For some kids, this will be the only gift they receive. They need it more than we do. Sponsored by Northern Ohio Honda Dealers with Joy. Fantastic. Five different counties will benefit little girls and little boys. I brought a Baymax uh, toy from Big Hero 6, the new movie that came out. And I, and I brought down uh, uh, Lincoln Logs. 
when what to my wandering eyes did appear? Hello, my name is Joy. From local Christmas tree farms, tiny reindeer. Just make your heart feel real good, you know, to know that you can help somebody else. Now Dawson, now Capo, Crumpton, Meany, and Harkin. On Spiegel, on Mac, on Gallic, Scally, Martin, and Lou. Because we're all very lucky. We are all blessed and others yes, are not are. so blessed. Yes, we are. Well, thank you so much. But I heard all of Fox 8 exclaim as the last viewer drove out of sight. Walkers and runners from all over helping support prayers from Maria. Beautiful little girl, love to tell jokes, love to play, love to laugh, and uh, you know, as pure as innocent a little kid as you can find. Maria McNamara was a seven-year-old who lost her battle with cancer. Her family and friends have made it their mission to help raise money to fight child cancer. Maria loved to dance and her mom is a Mags alum, so she most likely would have been on team with us now, so this is really close to our hearts. And we're actually going to wear our sunflower headbands in our all-team dance this year so that Maria is dancing along with us all year. Every step they take, whether they walk or they ran today, every dollar goes toward, puts us one step further to our cure to uh, Children's Glioma, the Cancer Foundation. So we're so glad everyone came out today because we don't know what dollar might be the final dollar that gets where we want to go. Thousands of people here in honor of little Maria, whose life was taken just too soon. But there are a lot of children out there that still need your help. Shane was diagnosed with brain and spinal cord cancer in 2010. Um, he underwent a year of chemo and his tumor grew through all of his chemo treatments. And then he did seven weeks of radiation. And it's just such an important thing that they're trying to raise more money, which is so needed for pediatric cancer. It's so underfunded. And it's children like Shane, a perfect example why so many hit the pavement. Downtown was full of adults, children, Fox 8 employees, including our very own Todd Meany in the Ace Molar Band, Wounded Warriors, and don't forget Slider. Your donations and solid footwork really do make a difference. I love Cleveland. I love Fox. How can you not appreciate everybody that comes out from the Wounded Warriors of last year to everybody else in the whole world? I, it's just a great thing. I appreciate it. Uh, you're going to make a difference, so be proud of yourselves. In Cleveland, Jessica Dell, Fox 8 News.